right, imagine you're all alone piloting a small airplane, thinking about being almost home, and then suddenly your windshield explodes. Wow, that's yeah. what happened to a Florida man as a camera in the cockpit recorded everything. Joe Rotes of our ABC station in Fort Myers, Florida, has the story. Never did see him. All of a sudden, the windshield just explodes. Heart-stopping moments for pilot Rob Weber, something he's never seen in more than a decade of flying planes. I wasn't sure if the bird was in the plane with me, where he was, or what was happening. It was smooth sailing from Central Florida to Fort Myers Page Field. Weber radioed in to the control tower when he was just a few miles away from touching down. A few seconds later, uh, all of a sudden the windshield just exploded and stuff was flying everywhere. Watch again in slow motion. A bird slams into Weber's windshield. Glass flies and heavy winds whip the plane, flying at 170 miles per hour. It sends it into a quick shake, but Weber's steady hands take over along with his pilot training. Just fly the freaking plane. You know, that's, that's a phrase that everybody always tells you. A few moments later, watch as Weber reaches up to check himself, realizing he's been cut on the head. Head bleeds are really bad, and I pulled my hand out. It was just covered in blood, and I was like, oh boy. So. Uh, I just kept telling the tower, I just need to get on the ground quick. Weber kept the camera rolling, one he picked up just a few weeks back. I've just been playing with it and you know, trying to get used to using it. But he could never predict he'd get this once-in-a-lifetime footage, knowing how lucky he is to be alive after what was a lot more than a close call. If the bird would have come all the way in and, and if he would have continued and hit me, uh, who knows, if it would have knocked me unconscious. Luckily, that didn't happen. As Weber safely lands the plane, he's congratulated by Control Tower Radio. I just checked in so calm. Good flying. And met with fire engines as his plane comes to a stop. <laughs> Joe Rotes, ABC News, Fort Myers, Florida. That guy's a cool cucumber. Yeah, unbelievable. Wow. He only had the one cut to his head because did you see how big those yeah, shards of glass absolutely. were flying right at him? And the just... shock of it must have been incredible. Yeah, and to keep his cool. And it actually, this things like this happen. Often enough, uh, the FAA says that 9,000 birds are reported struck annually by planes in the U.S., um, and that number keeps going up every year. And they actually believe that the number is higher. It's just that pilots don't report yeah. um, some of the less serious incidents. And deadly. Uh, since 1988, 250 people have died in accidents with planes hitting birds.